Hey everybody, it's Daddy1424, the media purchase guide.com, and today is Wednesday, July 25th, a hugely important day for us MacBook lovers slash MacBook users. Today was the release of Mountain Lion, and that's what this video is about, a full review of Mountain Lion for you guys. Remember to like, two thumbs up, it's the most important thing you guys can do for me, uh, and leave some comments below and subscribe if you haven't become part of the media purchase guide.com community. So let's go ahead and jump into this. So we have Mountain Lion here for you. Uh, first thing I want to recommend to all you guys out there that are looking to do the update uh, is to do a clean install. What that means is maybe back up your information to a hard drive or a disk, wipe down the hard drive, and then reinstall the software, and then go ahead and get Mountain Lion. That's what I did. It made the uh, uh, actual download pretty smooth. All in all, is about 35 to 40 minutes to download the OS X Lion. So remember to keep that in mind as well. You will also have to re-download things such as iMovie and Pages and all that great stuff if you you know don't have it as well. So I had to do that. So let's go ahead and jump right in. The first thing about Mountain Lion you'll notice uh, in the specifications it does say to you the different Macs that it's available for. So your MacBook Air uh, mid-2011 and higher and how certain features only work for certain MacBooks. So make sure to read that as well. Um, one in particular that I noticed was they said that the dictation support for Canada English and Canada French will be available in a software update. However, I myself have been able to get it to you, so I'm not quite sure uh, what relevancy they're talking about there. So we'll close that down and talk about some of the features. The first noticeable thing that you'll notice is the notification center. It is on the top right hand corner of these little lines here. You can click that and it will bring up your notifications. You can actually go into settings and customize your notifications the way you want to what you want to be to if it's a banner or alert similar to your iOS. Another way of accessing your notification system is simply taking your two fingers and sliding it on your trackpad from the uh, right hand side over to the left. Now when you do that make sure you're touching the edge otherwise it won't recognize it like you see there I'm doing the middle it's not working but if you go right from the edge you'll see it flips open the notification center. So kudos to Apple for doing that streamlining everything quite you know fluidly. So everything else pretty much remains the same your time your percentage your uh, sound your Wi-Fi your Bluetooth your backup they added this one little new tab here which is your get your information for your login and whatnot it just shows your name there. Um, anyway, so the next thing we're going to go ahead and talk about is actually in the launch pad, and that is iMessage, another welcome addition to Mountain Lion OS X 10.8, which simply gives you the ability to pick up your conversations that you had on your iPhone and your iPad and bring it now over to your Mac as well. So you'll notice that if I go here, we'll incorporate my contacts, and if I try one, for example, who doesn't have iCloud, you'll notice that it will go red. But if I pick someone who does have, not iCloud, iMessage, my apologies, you'll notice that it will stay a solid blue. For example here, I will go ahead and hit that one, and then you can go ahead and type a your message and have the conversation with them picking it up on your iPhone and your iPad so that's pretty much it for iMessage pretty straightforward or messages as they're calling it a mountain line the other two new things that they have added is your reminders and your notes pretty straightforward and you know similar to what you see already on your phone uh, one of the cool new additions about reminders is you can grab one of them and simply drag it over to your desktop and that will create essentially a shortcut to that reminder right now we will go ahead and delete that and move on to the next thing so in the Safari now, instead of having two tabs, you now have one. Very similar and reminiscent to Google Chrome, and I love that about Google Chrome, so I'm glad that Apple incorporated that over. Before, they had one for the URL and one for the search. Now you can just type in your information, and you're good to go. And it will Google search it, or you can type in your actual URL if you decide to do that. And you can see how much faster it is now and the response time. So we'll go ahead and close this. Actually, before we do, one of the things that I always mention is they have incorporated things like Twitter and Facebook. So you can now click that share button and share it with Twitter. And you'll see that it will automatically tag that into my tweet or Facebook. Uh, you can also access any iCloud tabs that you have you're using on your iPad or your other Macs. And you can pick them up and continue that over here on the uh, computer itself. So furthermore, uh, one of the other things we want to talk about, like I said, you know, have to reinstall iMovie and your pages and all that. Uh, they've also added in Game Center. For those of you who utilize that on your iPhone or your other platforms, are going to be it's a great addition to the Mac because now you can play your games and get those achievements as well. So the hidden feature that I really want to talk about, one that I'm actually really, really happy with here, is something you just jump into System Preferences, and you go down and it says here Dictation and Speech. And you can actually choose to have a male or female voice. They give you three of each, and then you can obviously utilize that. Now to access the dictation, you simply tap the function key, which is to the left of the control key twice, and that will bring up the dictation for you. You can also utilize that in programs such as Pages. Now Pages had a revamp itself as well. Uh, there was an update made available as soon as Mountain Lion 
Bitcoin came available. So if you haven't updated that, make sure you do. And that gives you access to use things like dictation in your uh, pages. Now, the other thing they've done with pages as well is you can also save documents to the cloud, which is great because if I'm using a document, uh, save it to the cloud, then pull it up on my iPhone to say, for example, show a colleague or pull it up on my iPad. So let's go ahead and demonstrate the dictation. Again, one of my most favorite features, and we'll show you how accurate this is. This, this is a review of the MacBook Air OS X 10.8 Mountain Lion. It is a great system that enhances the speed of your computer and adds functionalities that should have been done from the get-go. I'm pretty sure get-go is not going to get picked up right away, but let's see. So this is the accuracy that we have here. This is a review of the MacBook Air OS X 10.8 Mountain Lion. It is a great system that enhances the speed of your computer and eye functionalities that should have been done from the get-go. So pretty close to uh, bang on there. Obviously, it doesn't incorporate things like dictation and whatnot or punctuation. My apologies, not dictation, punctuation. Um, so, you know... Give and take a little bit, but at the end of the day, it's not quite Siri, but it, it does what the main component of Siri is, which is the dictation itself. So this is going to make life a lot easier for people who are consistently using their Pages application. So we'll go ahead and close that down. All in all, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. This has been an overview of Mountain Lion. I could not be happier. I hope you guys go ahead and pick up your copy today. It is only $19.99. Um, when people ask me the core value of it, is it worth that $19? Absolutely. We consistently pay $20 for expansions of games and uh, DLCs and all that great stuff. And consider this to be a very ev evolutionized DLC to the MacBook Air. Uh, another great reason for it too is creating that unisense between all devices from your phone to your iPad and the ability to just pick up and have that convenience between all your devices. So many companies are out there do are doing it today, such as Windows, for example, who have their Windows 8 mobile coming out as well as their Windows 8 for their actual computers. So again, two thumbs up for Mountain Lion from myself, Daddy1424, TheMediaPurchaseGuide.com. If I didn't cover something and you have a question, make sure to leave that in the comments below and I'll make sure to answer that as soon as possible. So that's down that away. I'm going to sign it off the only way that I know how. Close this up. Wow, beautiful skin. If you guys haven't had a chance, make sure you check out my Jealous Skins video. Uh, we are also going to be giving away a special prize on our other channel, We Are Team PG. So make sure you check that out as well. Daddy1424, The Media Purchase Guide. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace. Love.